Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to create breakout rooms for your students to work collaboratively in using Google Meets and a relatively new extension that was just rolled out in the last few months that's called Google Meet for break, uh, Google Meet breakout rooms, excuse me. So before you do that, uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that your Google Classrooms are all set up. Uh, what do I mean by that? I'm going to show you. So if I just go into Google Classroom, okay, I can choose one of my classrooms that I have not yet done this on. Okay, so we'll go to what I call my training class here. Okay, you see this is just a regular class. And then here it says generate meet link. Okay, if you have not created your classes, uh, it's simple, all you need to do to create classes is to just go to your class board here Okay, you're gonna click that plus sign and then you're gonna cl click create class and it's gonna prompt you to enter all of this information and then your class will be um, created and it'll show up here on your dashboard. Okay, from there when you go into your classroom of your choice, you'll see here it says meet link and generate meet link. So once I click this, okay, I can, it's just telling me to approve that I, I've read it. Okay, I'm gonna generate a link. Okay, it's generated, there it goes, okay, and I can save this. Now what's gonna happen is, is that the link is going to show up right here. It'll be there always for students. All right, um, from there I'm gonna go open up another tab because now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the extension. So we have Google Meet Breakout Rooms. Um, and I can even type extension after that if I want to. Okay, and it'll be the first link that pops up. You'll know that you're in the right place because this is what the icon looks like. It's just the square with the lowercase b. Okay, uh, I already have it. That's why it says remove from Chrome. You're just gonna wanna add it, download the, the extension. Okay, once you download it, depending on the way you have your Chrome tabs set up, um, it might pop up right here, it might be pinned. Okay, otherwise you'll see a little puzzle piece here. Okay, and then mine pops up in the puzzle piece. If I want mine pinned, I can go ahead and I can click the little pin there and it'll pop up on mine as well. Okay, so if I open this up and we want to take a look at it, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the extension, um, and this is exactly what you're going to see right here, okay, now that I've closed out some of my, my tabs. And from here, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your classes. So in order to do that, you'll see here at the top it says Meet, there's an option for Rooms, Courses, and Settings. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is set up my courses. Okay, and you see here, I have already set up a bunch of courses, but if you have not yet done this, the only one that you will see when you first open the extension for the very first time is this very top one here that says my course, my own course. Okay, um, you can go ahead and change that if you want to. It's just the default that they have there. Um, and then otherwise, you can just go ahead and click the plus sign. Okay, so I had one for my training class, so I'm just gonna type in training class, okay. You can just type the same thing in on the other side if you don't want to put a description. Okay, perfect. You're going to want to click that Save button. Okay, it's not like most of the other uh, Google features where it saves automatically. You will have to save it. Please remember to do that. And then from there, you're going to go into your rooms. So once you go to rooms, you'll see here that at the top, it says which room, which course, I'm sorry, that we are in. And then there's a drop down menu. If I click on it, you'll see all of my classes pop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on that training course. Okay, now this is the main link. So the main link that you wanna put here is the link from your classroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my extension. And I'm going to paste that link right there. This is going to be our main room. This is where you're going to do the demonstration part of your lesson, okay, and check for understanding before you release the students to go ahead into their breakout rooms. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. We have the link there. Okay, again, just make sure you save. 
And then from here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to create those breakout rooms. So depending on how many students you have in your classroom and depending on how many students you want per group is going to depend on how many rooms you put. So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to put four and I'm going to name them yeah, room one, room two, so on and so forth. Okay, perfect. And then watch what happens once I click the save button again. It says creating automatic URLs. So instead of you having to go in like you had to in the past before this extension was, was created, um, you had to go and you had to open up and create all of these new Google Meets and then take the links and then share them with your students. Now all you have to do, and once you're done and you've done this, these will be saved. So it's a little bit of legwork in the beginning to make your life a lot easier later on. Okay, and then again, just make sure you hit the save button as always. Okay, and if you look, if I click on any of the other courses that I've done, it already created the link. So the first link is always going to be where you're going to meet with your students, and then the other ones are going to be the breakout rooms. Now, something I want to demonstrate for all of you is if you go back up here where it says meet, okay, this is your control panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start a class just to show you all what that looks like, okay? And uh, we'll go with that train, training class, I guess. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open sync both. So if you just want to open up the main room, you have the option to do that. If you just want to open the breakout rooms, it'll do that. If I want to open the main room and the breakout room for this class, then this is the button I'm going to push. Okay, and then you're going to see this is going to pop open a bunch of different tabs. And again, this is doing all of the legwork for me. Okay, now once this is done, you'll see here it says main. So this is the, the main page that it's on right now. If I want to go ahead and check in on the students in those other rooms, all I have to do is just click the tab and you'll see up here that it's changing rooms. So the next time it's gonna pop over to room three and then room four. Now I also control my settings for all of the rooms right here. So if I want to mute certain rooms, okay, I can do that. If I wanna be able to, you know, obviously you're not gonna to wanna to listen to, to four or five groups of students all speaking at once. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're muted. Um, but then I also have the option to, if I wanted to just remind them, okay guys, you have five minutes. Um, I can broadcast all of the rooms and I can unmute myself or turn my camera on. And that's how I would do that. Or if as I'm just walking through and circulating to give some, some feedback and letting the students um, know that if they're, they're on task or what they need to do, I can choose which room and then I can unmute myself, okay, and speak to only the group that I want to speak with, okay? So that is the control panel here. So that's all that I'm able to do from there. Um, and if you want to easily just copy and paste all of the links that you're going to need for your students, all you have to do is go ahead into assign breakouts. You're gonna to wanna to click here and then there you go. There are the links for your breakout rooms. So if, you, if your students already know in advance which breakout room they're going to, to go to, which where they need to go, then all you really have to do is just copy all of this here and then paste it into the chat of your main, your main page here, okay? So then I can go up to the chat, okay? And I can just paste that there and I can send it. And then the students will be able to click on the links right there from the main, the main um, chat, the main group, okay? Uh, so that is how you get that information out to the students. Now, an alternate to this, if you, let's say you wanted to have this information for them in a Google slide presentation, you can do that as well. Um, that is what I have here. Okay, so I just copy and pasted the links that were provided to me in the extension. And then in Google Slides, as you can see, 
I have here what says breakout rooms and I have the different rooms for my classes. I have the links here and you can always put, you know, like students, students names, you can even add jobs. So if you have group jobs and you have like the manager or the timekeeper um, the liaison of the speaker, you can add these here and then you can just switch the names, you know, if you, if you want them to have different jobs on a daily basis. Um, and this is another way that you can quickly show this in, in the main page. Okay, you can present your screen and show this for students so that they know where to go. Um, you would still then have to just um, copy if you're not going to provide this and offer a copy for each student in Google Classroom, you would just have to copy the links um, as I showed you already with the extension and then just put them in the chat again. And just a little add on here, if you are looking to make sure that the students are on track and keeping time, you can always go ahead and add a timer slide to the main page that you can have running while they're doing their work. And they can just toggle back and forth between the two, the two tabs to the timekeeper can if you have someone assigned to do that to let them know how much time they have left. And simply all I did to do this was, um, I'm just gonna add another slide here so I can demonstrate that. Okay, I simply went to insert video and then I searched 10 minute timer. And when you search that, these are the options that popped up and I like the colors on this one. So this is the one that I chose. Now when you double click this, it's going to insert that video right here. Okay. Okay, and then all you're going to have to do is click play. And once you click play, there you go. The timer is going to start and it's going to count down. So the students will be able to, you know, keep an eye on how much time that they have left. If you need more time, literally all you have to do is just search the amount of time timer that you need by going to insert video and then looking it up. Okay, I really hope that this video helped all of you. If you liked it, if it helped out, then please give me a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.